Roger and I have been going to the summit probably for about six years now. Um, we started when our grandson was born. We wanted to try to find a church for him. <laughs> um, Roger's always um, had a great faith and love for God. He grew up in the church. Um, actually, the first assemblies was where his church was. Um, a few years ago, uh, we had found out that he has Huntington's disease, which is um, a genetic disease that affects your mind. Um, it's like having ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's all at the same time. Um, that kind of uh, threw us for a loop because um, although we knew his mom had it, um, I guess your mentality is just that you're going to fight it, you're not going to. It's not going to happen to you, but um, it did and it, um, a lot of things changed for us, um, but he never lost his faith. Never. Um, he never complains um, about anything. And um, he's a good man. And um, I think God has brought him through so much. Um, and our grandchildren, uh, I think through this sickness, um, it has really taught our grandchildren compassion because they always try to help him. They try to, um, you know, feed him and things like that that he can't do himself. And they're very conscious of that. So they, they are very compassionate kids, um, Destiny and Carson and Grace. Um, and I, I thank God for that. Um, and I remember one time we were at the doctor's yeah. office and anybody that knows anything about neurological <laughs> diseases, um, sometimes you have doctors make you take little tests and um, write, write things down on a piece of paper. And the doctor had said to Roger, um, write me a sentence, any sentence that you can come up with. And it's very hard for him to communicate and write. Um, at the time, uh, he was writing on the paper and I really couldn't see what it said. So I asked the doctor, what did he write? And the doctor said, I will overcome. And I thought, wow. It's just God. It's it's God, and I I know God sees him through every day, every day of his life, and we're thankful for that. And I think that's a big part of why he's getting baptized. Um, he just Jesus is in his heart, and I think he wants to renew that. My name is Rachel Grant, and I have been attending the Summit Church since September of 2017, but I was raised in a Christian home and saved at a young age. While in high school, I was really involved in my church's youth group, but when I went to college, I strayed from God and from attending church on a regular basis. While in college, I got involved in activities and became friends with people that drew me away from God. It caused me to make decisions and act in ways that to this day I'm not proud of. Although I am not perfect, I am so thankful that despite my imperfections, God has washed away my sins and He is still there for me in the difficult times. And not only am I getting baptized today because I want everyone to know that I am a child of God, but it also signifies washing my past regrets away to help me better serve our awesome God. Around 14, I started hanging out with the wrong people and I got on drugs. And it was a secret at first. And then my mother found out. And then I started into taking classes. I struggled for a while. But then I had friends who helped me through it. During the lowest point in my life, I felt the presence of God and getting clean. It helped a lot. Pastor Christina and I pray every Sunday for a great week and not to be depressed or to have anxiety. I would say that Pastor Christina has helped me
to have more faith in God and to trust and believe that anything I want to do that he'll be right there next to me and following me through life. I'm nervous to get baptized, but I want everybody to know that God has done so much in my life. Growing up, I was very active in youth group and church, um, and I've always wanted to grow my relationship with God, but I always sort of felt like there was um, something missing, almost like I needed a little help getting started. And so um, I did my best, and then um, I went to college and sort of fell away from God a little bit. And um, that was a really tough time because I was always sort of wrestling in my mind about like, why am I, why am I pulling away? What is it? Is it pride? Is it um, just the environment that I was in? I'm not sure. And so um, just a little over a year ago when we started coming to Summit, um, I felt sort of that wall start to break down. And um, it's something that my husband and I have talked about a lot. We just came from two different backgrounds when it came to religion and how we thought about things. And it really felt like since we started coming to Summit that um, we kind of opened the door of communication between us and we both are working on our relationship with God and it's really uh, becoming the center of our lives and our family and our marriage. So um, we're really thankful for that and when I first started coming to Summit, the first time I walked in the doors, I could feel something was different here. Um, I could feel just everyone was happy to be here. It was just such a peace and just fun and joyous place and it was just exciting it's a place that I wanted to bring my son and I and I wanted to come and spend more time and um, just get involved in everything that I could God very clearly kind of put it on my heart that you need to get baptized again and to be honest I probably have been fighting that for about a year now and um, it so clearly during worship service God said to me it's not about you because I had had this wall up about it I was afraid of being center of attention um, I was afraid of just putting myself out there but I realized that it's important for me to share my testament and that I am um, making the choice to live for Jesus and that my family is really um, working together to sort of keep Christ at the center of our family and I've seen just so much change in our family um, my parents come here now um, it just makes life so much better I'm living uh, my life for Jesus now and and I want to share that, so that's what it's about. Hi, my name is Amy. Uh, I have two children, Joshua and Ella. They also attend the summit with me. And when I walked in, I sat up in the balcony, and when the first song started, I just felt like I was at home. I knew this is where I needed to be. And we started to get involved. We joined Reach. We started helping with the Easter egg hunt, um, Christmas things that were going on, just anywhere that we could jump in and do little things. I came from a background of a lot of abuse when I was growing up. But after I came to Summit, I started to see and grow spiritually. I started to understand that I was worthy and that I was forgiven and I started to begin to grow spiritually. I started attending a Bible study after I got here. Um, that was great because I got to build a spiritual foundation. And just here at Summit, I built a spiritual family around me that helped me with my growth and reaching out and it's just been home. Now is the next step that I want to personally take of having this baptism done because I am making this a public declaration of my choice to walk closer with, with God, with Jesus, but also to give back to Him and submit myself more for all that He's done. I mean, He's brought me through some pretty eclectic skates, we'll just say that. Um, and I followed His lead and I keep growing and here I am. Hi, 
my name is Ella, I'm 11 years old. Every Wednesday I go to youth group and the reason why I'm going to get baptized is because before I went to summer camp, I just felt like I was worshiping just because everybody else was. And now I just feel like whenever I went there, God was just wrapping his hands around me and that's why I'm going to get baptized. My name is Damian Beatty, I'm in ninth grade, and I'm involved at the Summit Church Youth Group. I got saved at the youth camp that we went to in the summer of 2017. I wanted to get baptized because at the beginning of October, uh, I was in youth group and the worship was so powerful. I was being touched by God and He was speaking to me about what was coming up on the weekend. And I felt like since then I needed to get baptized to declare it and hopefully hear more from God. Hi, my name is Lisa. Um, I've been coming to the Summit Church for about eight months now. Um, my daughter introduced me to this church and as soon as I came to this church I felt God's presence. Um, um, throughout my life, I've struggled. Um, I've made so many wrong decisions, um, but I always had a pulling and tugging on my heart. Um, and I know God has always been there for me. Um, so this baptism, baptism that I'll be doing is very meaningful to me because there's so many blessings that have come into my life just recently. Um, and I am changed. I feel it in my soul and in my heart that I am a changed person. And I want to outwardly express this with a baptism and just let people know that you can be just this normal person in life and he will listen and all you have to do is knock. Um, he opens the door for you so you just have to trust and have faith and believe and that's what I'm doing. <laughs>